After a long and troubled life, I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm, but the flame burned on and on. I can always see it in my mind, the warmth and the heat. It will always be a part of me. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Stand up and look at what's come for you. This is the waking world in which we live. There is no need to cry, no need to dream. There is much to be skeptical of in this world, so it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. Too much love of money and ownership, not enough love of God and giving. <laughs> Who am I to deny them? Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. Right. You are not so certain. Fair enough. We all have doubts. Whether there is a God or not, His existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. Of course. Think on it and look in your heart. The light of the mind alone cannot dispel the whole world's darkness. Please think about this, and look in your heart. Naturally, some days are harder than others. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord, but it's good to have friends. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them, but I must try. And the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Thank you for staying with me. Tomorrow will be here soon enough, and there is much to do.